So how in order to successfully flower bomb, we're gonna have to start with a few things. Number one being research. Um, research would include finding what species of native plants is particular to your region, or if you have a certain type of soil. I know my yard is a little bit sandier as most of our floor soils are, so finding what native flowers do best there um, is key to their survival. Um, next would be to obtain materials. Um, so these materials you can often find around your house. Um, I know in a lot of the challenges I've seen for flower bombing, they often have it in like a Parmesan shaker. Um, you can use a salt shaker, anything that has the holes big enough for the seeds to fall through. But next would be to find the native seeds. Often they donate these seeds at the end of the season. So I know I used to work at Home Depot and around winter time, they didn't have enough for the holiday displays and the big seed display. So they would donate the seeds and then throw away the big, that big display. So you can often get them for free. So I would recommend um, checking with them to see if you tell them for a school project or something, they might donate them. But the big bag is usually around $10 and the small seed packets for those specific flowers are often one to two. So next would be a location. Location, plants require three different things primarily, um, soil, sunshine, and water. Um, you can flower bomb in your backyard, but the point is to kind of go out into your community and do this and plant them in areas that have kind of like, not the best looking, I would say, um, flower beds. So often if you have like one in your, your city that just looks a little run down, sprinkle some seeds in there. They already have sprinklers if it's a city flower bed or someone to tend to them. So they're going to be getting the care that they need, but you don't have to do it. So kind of saves you time, but still getting the benefits. Um, locating the public space, um, just also make sure there's no, it's not getting mowed often, because if it does start to grow and then it gets mowed, like it's just not, not the happiest of times. Um, these spaces could be vacant lots, parks, or unmaintained flower beds in your community. Um, native plants are exceedingly resilient and frequently survive under conditions of neglect. So a lot of times they will thrive under a little bit of neglect. They are made for this area, so they don't need a whole lot. Um, next would be your time to act, to fill your Parmesan shaker and start sprinkling the seeds around town. Um, you're prepared to begin flower bombing once you have located your target area and acquired your supplies. Your seeds should be thoroughly shaken into the soil. Don't forget to follow up with them and observe their growth. Um, so just make sure maybe sometimes they do need a little bit more water and the guy's not coming around to do it bring a watering can, bring a gallon, and start spraying that around. Um, after you act and your flowers start to grow, next would be to share and kind of challenge other people to do the same. Um, the purpose of flower bombing is to increase the pollinator populations in your area, so getting everyone to do it, your odds of success are greater.